What is up YouTube? My name is James. I bring you guys a brand new video here today and today I'm showing you guys how I created my most beautiful photo ever. This is probably my favorite photo I've ever taken before. It's the Empire Stool thing from the rooftop that I was on like during golden hour and it was amazing. And I'm going to show you guys how I edited it so you guys can see how to edit photos like this and just how to go about editing just amazing photos in general. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description below. And I'll see you guys. My name is James. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, guys. So here is my most beautiful photo ever. This was taken back in November when I was only about three or four months into photography. It was a rooftop in Midtown pointed right at the Empire State Building right during golden hour and the glow and the tones and all of it is just so amazing and I've never been able to replicate a look like this before and so I'm gonna show you guys how I created this photo so let's go over to the raw version which is this this is the raw file so you look at it and you think wow how the heck do you turn it into this like that's crazy like that's such a big difference because this photo it, it's pretty cool but it's a little green and you do not have those like those crushed shadows and that super amazing yellow glow in it like you do in the edited one and it just it's awesome I think this is just one of my it's like words cannot describe how much I love this photo so let's get straight into this I'm gonna show you guys how I edited my most beautiful photo ever so let's go straight to the top I did not mess with the temperature or the tint at all the temperature and the tints I stay kept the same okay next I went to contrast 100 straight up 100 contrast next for the highlights I went to negative 27 highlights that was th the point of the highlights is if I bring it down too much it's just a little bit too much I wanted a little more like like whiteness that like a white glow in the sky right there and I didn't want too much of it here if I brought it all the way up so I kept the right just it's so self-explanatory contrast is contrast like you can see the difference why I would want contrast here so next for shadows I did plus 29 I wanted to get a little bit of detail out of these buildings before I crushed it all in the tone curve next is the whites I brought negative 10 whites next is the blacks I brought those up to plus 45 again to get more detail out of here before I crush it in the tone curve next for clarity I brought that down to negative 29 it's to bring more of a peaceful feeling and to really make sure that glow is like nice and smooth and just comfy almost, if I want to describe it like that. The vibrance and the saturation, I kept the same. Okay, so for the tone curve, what I did is I brought my first point in the bottom left corner all the way to the first line, the first of four lines, right below the dotted line, just like so. Right about there. Maybe a little bit more to the right. Right there. Next, I made a second point and put it right about... Right about here. Next, I made a third point and put that right about here. And lastly, I made a fourth point and brought that right about... Here. So, that's our tone curve. Now, the colors still look super gross, and we're going to fix that in the HSL and the split toning. So, right off the bat, what I did is I made my hue for my yellows a little bit, a little bit more orange, just like that. And we made our oranges a little bit more yellow in plus three. For Next, for our saturation, we put our reds all the way down. We brought our yellows to about a negative 35. That's to calm the yellows more down a bit. So you see it's a little saturated in the middle. And that glow right in the middle. So by bringing our yellows to like a negative 35. It calms it down a little bit. It makes it not so strong. Which is nice. Because that makes it more a little more realistic I feel. Next for all of the cool colors. I brought all the saturations to a negative 80. Just so that if there are any of those colors in the photo. They don't show. Next for our luminances. We brought our oranges to a plus 9. And our yellows to around plus two. Three is okay as well. Next is the split toning. What I did was I made the highlights around a 24. 
which is in the red orange zone and I made the saturation around 15 ish so right there so what that's gonna do is it's gonna make the glow here more orange and it's just gonna make all the highlights around here a little more orange as well it's gonna make it even color pretty much next for the shadows we kept it a hundred percent red and we made it 18 um, 18 saturation so we create red shadows red even shadows all over the whole picture it really creates this warm feeling and it's super super nice next we're gonna vignette up the photo a little bit we're gonna make a negative 17 vignette just like that and so you see in the corners of the photos now you can't you don't really you lose a lot of detail it makes it more black and less um, and more shadows and creates the photo in total more moody Next, I'm going to edit the camera calibration. First, the red primaries make those around a negative 23. Keep the saturation at zero. And next is the blue primaries make those around negative 13 or 12. Just like that. And boom, we have our photo. Just like that, with only minor differences. If you see, very, very little difference between the two photos here. Boom, boom. I'm going to put them up side by side real quick for you guys to see. And that is it for this photo. There are no brushes. I didn't do any radio filters, no spot removals, nothing like that. I was not really knowledgeable on that stuff by the time I took this photo, so I never put that in the photo to begin with. And it's funny. This photo only has four stars. I made the photo only four stars, even though it's the best photo ever. That's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what kind of tutorials you want to see next. Any kind of tips videos. Any kind of certain vlogs. Whatever you guys want, I am here to make for you. I have a whole giant list of tutorials I am making for you guys in the future. And I have some vlogs I'm going to be wanting to make soon of places and things I want to shoot. So I'm going to take you guys all on those. Give you a little behind the scenes looks of what I do when I'm taking my photos. For you guys to see again this photo was just a little walkthrough of how I created my best photo ever and to really show you guys what goes into making a great photo so guys that's been it for the video I hope you guys enjoy lastly guys my name is James I'll see you guys in the next video peace So, Logic followed me on Instagram apparently. That's kind of interesting. Seven, six, five, four, three. There you go. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, that would have been crazy. Out here, catch a banger. I hate myself. Like I do, I actually hate myself. I hate you too. Thanks.